If you're new to JSON, or even if you've been doing it for a while, I'd like to show you a tool that's pretty helpful in making it easier to read and edit. It's called JSON Editor Online. Let's go ahead and copy our code from this sheep behavior. So I'm going to go to Select and Select All, which is also Control A, and then we'll do Edit, and Select Copy, which is also Control C, and then I'm going to switch over to the JSON Editor Online website. There's a link down below in the text, so you can go to there and, and bookmark the website so that you can use it again in the future. What I'm going to do here is go highlight all the code that's in this left side window, and I'm going to select Paste. And so you could see all of the JSON codes pasted on the left-hand side. And now that I've pressed the right arrow, it shows you a nice tree view of the behavior definition here on the right-hand side. So let's click these little triangles here to open up the entity. So the entity itself has some properties like the format version, which is 01, and then it also contains some more objects. So if I look at component groups, I could open up the component groups and I could see inside the component groups all the different component groups. And I could drill down into those by opening those up and learning all the exact details of the group in a nice hierarchy or tree view. Same thing with components. I could see all the components nice and easily here. If I wanted to learn what the values are of one of those objects, you can see here. It shows you all the different values. You could even make changes here. So if you wanted to change the track target to be false, you could just uncheck it. And then you could click the left arrow. It'll send the code back over to the left side. And we can copy it from here. You can right click and then do select all. And then right click and say copy. And then switch back over to our text editor. Make sure we do select all. And then we can do right click and then paste. So you can see here that it's pasted that code in and it looks okay. So we can go ahead and use that. So the JSON editor online is a really nice way to look at code and also to make simple changes to code. This works especially well when you're changing values. If you have to rearrange code, it gets a little more complicated, but I still think it's a really helpful tool because of the way it lays things out. So you might wanna try it out and see if you could use it to help yourself understand the contents of different behaviors and other JSON files so you can see more clearly how they're laid out. It certainly takes away a lot of that, that crazy formatting and makes it easier to read. So give it a shot and see if that works in helping you understand the JSON files a little better. Good luck.